Here we have a auto dumping, auto return zip line rock bucket. It's going to travel 125 feet. It's going to drop 80 and it's going to automatically dump its payload and then come back to me on its own. Normally I'd have more rocks and use the disc brake. But right now I'm just using my glove so that I can video more easily. So here we go. What I want to do is some erosion control down below and this is the best way I could figure to get some rocks down there. Now I'm going to slow it down and catch up with it. And now we'll let it go again. And now it's coming back to me. So a final word before going into details is that I know that in 25 minutes and maybe a gulp of iced tea, all of these rocks will be on the beach. At the upper end of the cable is the 12 and a half to 1 counterweight gear reducer. The yellow rope activates the bicycle caliper disc brake. and. Down below I've got the counterweight which has to be 12 and a half times the weight of an empty bucket plus the trolley. So here's the auto dumping bucket and trolley all set up. A uh, close up of the trolley. These were my nephew's scooter wheels. I lobotomized the tread with a bandsaw put metal sides and uh, with gloves I squidged in some construction adhesive to make a, a nice U-shape. And the bucket has a uh, spring in there so it can swivel a little bit if it wants to but generally that keeps it straight. And then the trigger is all set up. I added an elastic band just for extra security close-up of the trigger mechanism and we'll trigger it. We're down at the beach end. I've got a 300 pound 32 inch diameter metal disc covered in rocks buried down there. And I've got a tripod and then that's the blocker that triggers the rock bucket to dump. This is a 12 to 1 pulley reducer. So 150 feet of rope played out from this top spool will cause 12 feet of rope to be, or cable to be pulled up on the bottom spool. Got a nice chain tensioner working and I got disc brake working too.